Welcome to this Lee Daniels Art tutorial, creating muzzle flash with After Effects and Photoshop. Here's the Al Pacino character from the Star Wars spoof I made for the MASH channel on YouTube. For the muzzle flashes in this production, I used stock assets from Action Essentials by Video Copilot, but I'm going to show you a quick way to create your own custom muzzle flashes using Photoshop. Here's a document I've set up in Photoshop. It has three layers containing variations on muzzle flash that I've already painted. So we'll just create a new layer. Hit B to select the brush tool. And then make sure you choose a brush with a good amount of noise on it. Like this one. I'm going to select this blue as the base color and then just roughly draw out a muzzle shape. And then next, I'm just going to select white and knock the opacity down to about 40% and draw in the glow at the center. And then all we need to do is grab that layer and duplicate. And on the layer beneath, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just put that to about 70 pixels to give a glow effect. And then select the top layer Press Command E to merge them together, and we'll just name that Muzzle 4. And then we just save the document as a Photoshop file. So then we just need to import the file into After Effects, select Retain Layer Sizes. And open up the comp. So first of all, I'm just going to delete the background layer and then select all four muzzle layers, turn them on, and then just grab the end of each layer and drag it back like that. So when we zoom in, each one of those layers is now one frame long. I want each of these frames to appear every two frames. So I'm just going to drag them along the comp like this. Just going to minimize the view slightly so I can see what we're doing. And then move the slider towards the end, press the N key to bring in the work area slider and just drag it down so it's two frames past the end of the last layer. So if you do a RAM preview, you should have something like this. So then we just need to trim the comp to the size of this work area. So holding down this control key, click on the top slider, trim comp to work area. So now if we just go back to the character comp, grab the muzzle flash comp, and drag it on top of the layer. Just go back to the start and then increase the scale and move the anchor point and just rotate it and move it into place. And you can see there's a bit of a hard edge there where the glow has reached the edge of the comp. So just double click on the mask tool, bring up the feather controls and just blend those edges slightly. Now you can see the muzzle flash comp isn't quite long enough for the length of this animation. So here's a quick tip for extending a short comp. If you just hold down control and click on the layer and go up to time, enable time remapping, and then hold down the alt key, click the stopwatch on time remap. In the expressions menu, go to property and loop out. And then we just need to extend that comp all the way to the end. And then we just need to parent the muzzle flash to the gun. And if we do a RAM preview, we should have something like this. Right, that's the end of this tutorial. Please subscribe to my Lee Daniels Art YouTube channel where you'll find examples of some of my animated shorts, client work, and news about upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching.